Hello! It's been a while since I've done something on OpenHD. Not through intention, just uh, my time gets taken up and I never get round to doing all the things I want to. But in the last video um, I did, I was using these better uh, antennas, which got me a much better video picture, and I was flying with the Oaken board, and eventually I crashed into a bush because my, my gyro went funny and I hadn't got it in the right mode. And then my brother-in-law had to drive his tractor with me in the bucket so I could retrieve my plane. That was fun. But, keyword there is the, the Oaken board. I was using this thing called the Oaken, which is a carrier board for a Pi Compute Module 4 and fitted very nicely into the plane and did all the uh, lots of input output and did its own uh, voltage regulation so I could just plug straight into that and that would go ahead and power everything else. Well since that time Flavio who designed the Oaken board has teamed up with Seed Studios who are now uh, manufacturing for him and selling it for him um, and they've got a version 2 out uh, and I've got it here. It comes in this a slightly plain box but inside you'll find an Oaken 2. Uh, to, to use it with anything usefully you will need a Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4 which I've got here. It, it also comes with this USB-C connector which you can put on a little lead so you can update it when you want to and a whole bunch of cables. What is the big difference between this and the previous version? Well mostly it's this little thing here. It has its own micro HDMI out. So what I thought I would do with this is use it as a ground station. Previously I was using um, a Pi 4 as a ground station although that can be tricky with the amount of uh, Again, you have to supply the, the Pi with 5 volts at a certain ampage and this doing its own voltage regulation means I should be able to drive it with a regular battery a bit easier. So that should be fun. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go into close up, see if there's any other big changes, see how it would flash this and then let's set it up and we'll get the wing out and uh, update some bits on that so we had a better version of iNav and see if we can get flying and stuff and see how this new little board can work either as the ground station or up in the air. Okay so here is the Oaken board and I've just plugged in the USB-C but you've got so many connections here you've got USB uh, 3 there, 4 there and some other bits as well like there's UART ports uh, there's two camera ports here and here and this is where you can go in with your power which basically supports 2 to 6s I believe. I'll double check it in case I'm wrong. And what you have to do is get the connectors for the CM4 and it very very carefully goes in there. They, they are pretty delicate and it's very easy to break those connectors if you take them apart wrong. There's actually some 3D printed bits for taking these apart that um, Flavio supplied me to you last time. I'm not going to put this on right now because what I remember I also needed and I've just ordered is a heat sink here. So we have something where we have a bit of uh, paste that goes on a few of these chips and then we squash that down with a big heat sink and that will stop this overheating because this will run quite hot. But that's what we got. That um, plus these and basically I have to make up the USB end if I want to plug things into this and I do because the the obvious thing to plug in here is my wireless adapter for my network and interestingly when I run this OpenHD from a Raspberry Pi I run Ethernet over USB to my tablet in order to do screen recording um, I'm not sure if I can do the same with this, but that'd be interesting to test out. So yeah, we'll just get the um, the heatsink ready once it gets here, put this together, and we'll go ahead and flash that and see what can be done. This is a very unexciting flashing of a Pi Compute Module 4 under the Oaken board there, which is very slow. So what I've done here, I've got the Raspberry Pi Compute Module mounted on the Oaken board. I've got this fan and heatsink. Talk to Flavio, I was going to put a regular heatsink on but he said where it's going to be stationary you need active cooling. So this is actually a PWM fan but I've cut the PWM control off and I've got the 5 volt going to those terminals there but on the other side. Um, so we've installed it, it's a case of like pressing the button, having the USB in, running some stuff. Um, I've obviously soldered in a power cable and I've connected the HDMI and we end up with this display here. 
ignore this line down the monitor. This is uh, an old monitor we had in our caravan. I think it was stored funny and it's caused the screen to go bad. I was just using it as a temporary thing here. But that certainly boots in okay um, and is a little bit different. But obviously to do anything, I'm gonna to need to put this in. On the old Raspberry Pis, of course, you had USB connectors. On the Oakin, you have these little guys. So we need to use a USB cable and take that apart and make a new one. Okay, so the next thing I did was make up this cable. Not to be confused with that cable, which that one's running to a mouse. This is all shielded USB cable until about there, where I've got the very short link to uh, the Oakin board. So that goes around to here to the Wi-Fi adapter. And we can tell if that's working, I think, by using this mouse I've hastily connected. And you can see there it's got link hardware, RCL88, to a U and from that I can select uh, Wi-Fi tables and gubbins. So yeah, I think we're looking good there. Um, I just have to do the same with my wing now, I think, and should be able to connect the two. Okay, you'll have to excuse the mess all over the floor, which is me messing around. I've gone ahead and I've put the new version of OpenHD on there. I've upgraded the flight controller all the way from INF4 to INF7.1 and we got a picture, we got telemetry, and we've got moving servos and stuff. Some enhancements in uh, OpenHD since last time I looked. I've just got a mouse plugged in at the moment. And you see, if I click on this, I can do things like, for example, I've just changed the channel, and you can change this on both the ground and the um, air unit from here. You can mess around with different things uh, in the OSD, you can also go ahead and like click on things and change things that way. It's pretty, pretty cool. Although I quite like how it is in a moment. If we move things around, we've got the telemetry working. You'll see it's trying to get a, a GPS arm and it can't do it. So that's what I'm going to be doing next time. Okay, hadn't quite finished. Still got the wing here. And I realized I didn't have anything for recording. So if you look now, we've got the screen. That's going to be where my goggles be. That's directly linked up HDMI here. Tablet fell over. What we used to do on the tablet is plug it into USB and then use Ethernet over USB. We found out that the current version of OpenHD, unlike the last one, this current version was pretty much completely rewrote, hard codes the port that you'd need to use and we can't get access to that. So what you can do is use USB tethering and put it in USB debug mode basically and we can hook it up to QOSD that way. And you can see we've got all the same information. If we start moving the plane, we get that. The reason I got this is so I can do screen recording to work as my DVR, because if you're doing HDMI in through the goggles, then you can't record on it. So that is the state of it. Um, Obviously now, all I need to do is go and fly this. I'm going to leave this video here for now. This is just a setup thing um, because lately it's been raining and very windy. So I just need a day when it's not raining and it's not windy so I can not fly this into a bush and, and do all that damage. And then we'll take this out for a proper spin. We'll have the ground station, the new one, um, and check it out that way. I kind of really like this in terms of the size of it and things and the fact that it's all just easily parable through this. What I did with um, my tablet, I, I tried using this and it just did not work. Again, you need a, a nice shielded USB cable to make up. Where it's a mouse, it doesn't care, but anything else, use a proper USB cable. Basically, hack an old cable apart, put a tiny little end on it, and you'll be good. So, yeah, please join me next time and we'll do some more Open HD stuff and we'll get this guy into the air and see how it flies with the new version. Well, you've made it to the end of the video, so thanks once again for watching. If you like what you saw, then please consider subscribing. And if you really like what you saw, then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel.